after dealing with all the properties that we had, so let's have an activity. Um, this activity will help you in answering your learning activity sheet in Math 9 third quarter, the week 1 and week 2. Um, ngayon, ang gagawin natin dito, so we're going to identify kung ano yung missing part. And we're going to identify also or determine kung ano yung applied or applicable na property doon sa certain item natin. So, ang pwede nyo gawin dito ay you can pause the video for a while and then try to answer before ko i-reveal yung correct answer. Okay, so let's start. So, we have here parallelogram STUV. So, ito po yung STUV and we have diagonals SU and diagonal TV with the point of intersection as point E. So, let's try number 1. So, we have here SV is congruent to. So, saan kaya congruent ang SV? Ito yung SV. Congruent ba siya sa ST? SU. So, saan siya congruent? And, ano yung inyong supporting property that uh, made you decide na ito ay congruent sa side na to? So, try to pause the video first and answer. So, the answer here is TU. Ngayon, anong property yung apply dito? So, SV is congruent to TU. So, bakit? Dahil sa property na opposite sides are congruent. Now, we are just dealing with parallelogram, okay? So, this is just a regular parallelogram. So, therefore, yung mga uh, properties na applicable dito or gagamitin natin ay yung limang properties lang ng parallelogram. So, hindi naman ito special parallelogram. So, before we proceed to number 2, let's try to have a quick review again about the properties of parallelogram. So, number 1 is opposite sides are congruent. Um, opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary. Diagonals bisect each other. And the last one is triangles formed by a diagonal are congruent. So, dun lang kayo mamimili sa limang properties na yun na pwedeng i-apply dito sa ating activity. So, let's proceed. So, how about number 2? VE. So, this is VE. So, VE is congruent to what? So, again, pause the video first and then try to identify VE is congruent to TE or ET. Why? Ano pong property? Diagonals bisect each other. So, yung VE at TE po ay congruent because of the property diagonals bisect each other. So, dalawang kalahati po yan. So, yung VT, yung buong diagonal ay nahati into VE and TE. And VE and TE are congruent. So, diagonals bisect each other. So, number 3 is VU. So, VU is congruent to, so madali lang to. So, the answer here is ST. So, what property? What property supports this item? So, opposite sides are congruent. So, VU and ST are congruent. So, next is angle SVU. So, saan siya congruent? Angle SVU. SVU. So, this one is congruent to angle STU. Bakit? So, kung makikita nyo yung SVU at STU ay opposite angles. So, they are congruent because of the property opposite angles are congruent. Okay, next, number 5. So, we have here VE. VE is equal to... Now, um, I will give you a hint about this kasi mukha siyang pareho nung number 2. Diba? But we use the equal. Um, this time, we're going to have the diagonal or the whole diagonal. So, the answer here is VE is equal to 1 half TV or VT. 
Now, paano nangyari yun? Um, before that, the property applied here is diagonals bisect each other. Ngayon, yung VE is equal to 1 half TV, which is correct, tama? Now, let's try. For example, kung ang VE ay 8, so 8, ang measurement ng VE, ang TE ay 8 as well. So, therefore, ang VT ay 16, tama? Ngayon, kung ang VT ay 16 at ang VE ay 8, so it is correct that VE is 1 half TV. So, nakuha po yun. So, dahil ang 8 ay kalahati lang ng VT or TV. So, that's why VE is equal to 1 half TV. Itong mga ganitong um, equation, magagamit natin to sa solving. Kasi in solving, we have to create an equation first, of course, before solving. Second to the last is number 6. So we have here angle VST plus is equal to 180 degrees. I think you have already an idea. Um, nakapag pinag add yung dalawang angle, so that is 180 degrees. So, ano kaya ang sagot dito? You can pause the video for a while and then try to find the answer. Actually, we have two um, possible answers here. So, the answer here is angle STU. So, bakit? Anong property? Consecutive angles are supplementary. So, therefore, yung magkatabing angle or magkasunod, ay equal, or kapag pinag-add, ay equal to 180 degrees. So, we have here VST. Ito po yan, VST. Ito po ang VST, VST. And the other one is S, STU. STU is here. So, magkatabi po yan. So, therefore, kapag pinag-add yung measurement niyan, so that is equal to 180 degrees. Ngayon, sinabi ko kanina that there are two possible answers. So, aside from having STU, angle STU as our correct answer, ano pa yung katabi ng or consecutive ng VST para maging 180 degrees? So, the answer here is angle SVU or UVS. So, ang VST... VST at SVU ay consecutive angles as well. So, therefore, kapag pinag-add mong measurement ng VST at ng SVU, so that is also 180 degrees. So, here in number 6, the correct answers are angle STU and angle SVU. So, last one is triangle SVT is congruent to Okay, so what is the answer here? Um, ang technique lang naman dyan, in parallelogram, we only have one property that involves rectangle, di ba? So, yun yung triangles formed by a diagonal are congruent. So, that is the property na applicable dito sa number 7. So, what is the correct answer here? So, ito po yung triangle SVT or S. VT. Ito po, SVT. So, ito po yung triangle. So, yan po ay congruent to triangle UTV. So, connect the dots lang po. UTV. And then, you will form a triangle. So, that is our activity. So, our next one is solving. So, dun na po ninyo ma-i-apply yung inyong understanding about the